task using Visual Studio environment. Okay. So yesterday we or before classes we have seen how to create data for daily data using Arduino based environment. Right now we are going to see so how to create a task and delete a task using Visual Studio environment. <coughs> for that first thing what you have to do is you have to open the Visual Studio. So it will go to Visual Studio. Right now, Visual Studio is okay. So yesterday itself, we have seen how to run our demo or task based demo program using Visual Studio environment. We have seen that yesterday itself. So today, we are going to implement our own program in okay, Visual Studio. It's just opening now. And uh, it shows the recent projects. Yesterday itself, we have uh, opened the Free our test demo program and we have compiled it. So I am opening the same project instead of going again going and opening the project and just clicking it. So right now it is open. So don't create a new project and try to add the free our test folder. It would be a very big process. So what I am going to do is I am going to do some basic trick to implement my program using the Artas demo project itself. Okay, I am not going to create a new project, I am going to implement my program, my own program using Arta's demo project itself. So that's what, uh, uh, that, uh, how I am going to implement it, I am going to show it. Okay, uh, wait for a while, just to work on. <coughs> so it is opening. So our main interest is uh, main blinky dot c. Uh, why? Because yesterday we have run this uh, main blinky dot c. So the control is in the main dot c. Okay. So in main dot c you can see if this particular value main create simple blinky demo only is one means main blinky dot c will run. If it is zero means main full dot c will run. So I will make it always as one itself. So this is the only change you have to do whenever you do any program. First thing what you have to do is open the main.c, make it as 1 and then save it. Okay. After that, open main blinky.c. So whatever written in this main blinky.c, just put control A and delete. Okay. Now we are going to implement our own program in main blinky.c. That's why uh, how I am going to implement, I am going to show you. Okay. So So first thing what you have to do is you have to include the files, header files. So hash include stdio.h. Okay. So I'll show it here. Next one is hash include. Okay. So once you uh, okay, so you have to include the free auto set effects. Okay. So free auto storage. After that, since we are going to deal with the task, you have to add task data. So once you included this side, you have to create the main program void main underscore so whatever name given here you have to type it as it is don't change this name if you change the main name it won't run okay and then infinite okay. where you can write your application in the main okay. after that you have to create a task handler Task handle underscore two my task handler equal to null. After that, we have to create the function definition where my function name is my task one void 
ओके सो दिस इज माय फंक्शन नेम आफ्टर दैट आई एम क्रिएटिंग अ वाइल लुक हियर वेयर आई कैन इंप्लीमेंट द टास्क फंक्शन ओके आफ्टर दैट इन द गो टू मेन प्रोग्राम वेयर यू कैन क्रिएट द टास्क ओके एक्स टॉस क्रिएट सो गिव द फंक्शन टास्क फंक्शन नेम माय टास्क फंक्शन नेम इज माय टास्क नेम सो माय टास्क वन कॉमा टास्क नेम एक्चुअल नेम टास्क वन After that, we have to declare the stack size. After that, we have to give the <coughs> parameter. We have to pass the parameter. So I am going to pass some parameter here. So I pass. So I am declaring it here. So I am going to pass the parameter. After that, give the priority and give the priority as one. Finally, task handler name. My task handler. So once you give this, my task get created. After that, I am calling the start scheduler. Starting the scheduler. Okay. So once the task scheduler get started. Don't go here. Don't write anything in the main function while loop. Just nothing else. So what are you want to implement? Implement in the task function. So enter. Welcome to Visual Studio 2019. count as a parameter count equal to star okay so i'm getting the count value and the count is incremented here okay it is good after that i'm giving some small delay here we task delay this now comma delay here After that, if count double equal to sixty, we task delete. Okay, we task delete. Give the task handler name so that your task will get deleted. Okay, my task handler. So this is the main usage of. Task handler. Okay. And also one more thing I want to tell. Uh, the main thing is priority. If the value is less, it has low priority. If the value is more, it has more priority. Okay. Zero is less priority. Five is more priority. Yeah. That you have to mind it. Okay. Everything is finished. Now. Flush. Still doing it. And this will flush out. And if anything displayed already in the tick buffer, okay. So I'm going to save it. I think we have finished the program. Uh, create the task scheduler. We are passing some value 50 here, so the 50 will be taken by the task, and the count is incremented. When the count reaches 59, your task. My task one will get delete itself. Okay, we have created the task here and we have deleted the task here. Okay, so first we will build the project. Okay, 
I hope project gets succeeded. Now I'm going to run my code. Okay. So you can see here. You can see the output. get loaded the deeper has to start and then only it will show you the output it depends upon the speed of the system you see here output is coming so up to 59 start from 50 up to 59 it is displaying once it reaches 59 at 60 we have deleted the task, so your task get deleted. Uh, you just compare with the Arduino program as well as your Visual C++ program. So I have written the same program in both the things, but there is a slight change in structure of the program. Okay, basic structure of the program. Both are based on C, but in Arduino there are some different changes that are made. So accordingly, you have to write the code. Okay. Thank you very much.